Today, we're going to be taking a look at Old World. We're not going to play in any old game. We're going to be taking a look at the heroes of Aegean. There is six different scenarios, but number five is missing because the game is coming to Steam in the middle of May, which this DLC will actually be free for the first two weeks for anybody who does claim it. So we're going to take a look. I don't know how long they are because I've only played normal games. I haven't actually played any of this yet so i have no idea how long the scenarios are and i've actually had a lot of fun playing this game it does a great job of mixing like that civilization gameplay with crusader kings with like spy masters you have like your own court marriages is it's really good and i think if you do like crusader kings 3 this will be of interest to you but i do have to mention they did send me the game and the dlc for free so i could make this video so i'll do part one the battle of marathon we're basically a large persian force ahead into athens and we need to work our way to defend against this invading force in my single player game i've mainly been playing as greece because they're actually pretty insane they start with like a lot of culture bonuses which can like help progress your cities but yeah if you're like me civilization never really fully captured you because it was just missing something and i think old world does a great job of fixing that by adding the character elements to the game so yeah we start off with athenai which i assume is just athens maybe i'm gonna call it athens anyway so we start this off with some troops nice and yeah i imagine these are gonna be coming for us so we're gonna have to try and defend them it's a bunch of cities but maybe for the scenario they're like disabled they don't really do anything i don't know and then down here, we have Sparta. But yeah, I have no idea what is going to happen. So, it's giving us some units to move. So, we have some cavalry. What are these? There's some hoplites. Which, yeah, like infantry, these big spears and shields. We do have some toxotes, which are like seem to be archers. More cavalry and more of these. So, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. But I imagine they're coming for us. Ooh. I think this might be one of the tribal people. Power much weaker. Yeah, I think these are like a tribal nation. They're not going to be as powerful as us, but in the campaign, they can be a pain because there's a lot of them. Anyway, I think we should just maybe move towards towards these, maybe. I feel like that would make sense. And yeah, I best explain some things, you know. Up here, of course, of our resources, so money, food, iron, stone, wood. Now, orders rate are really important. And from what I know, the more legitimacy you have, which you get through events, because there's events like Crusader Kings 3. So you get events where you can like up your legitimacy. And the more legitimacy, the more orders you can do per turn. So say I go to move this. It'll say, look, how many it's going to take. Obviously, I have none left this turn, so I can't do anything else. But everything you do basically will take orders. I think we might need some turn. So I'll wait till next turn. For decades, Greece and Persia have been bitter rivals. With the young Persian Empire expanding west under King Darius nine years ago. Greek cities in Iona revolted against Persian rule and the revolt soon turned into a prolonged war between the two powers. Persia prevailed and Darius decided to conquer all of Greece and especially punish Athens for helping the Ionians revolt. Two years ago, a large Persian fleet invaded Greece and the Persian general Maradonius, most trusted by Darius, embarked on his campaign of subjugation. We have recently received word that the Persian intends to assault Athens directly, a battle we are not prepared to fight. We should gather what forces we have in preparation. Stay up, we can end the day. Oh my god. Um, you have started a goal. Block the exits from the plain of Marathon within three turns. Persia has just landed an invasion force under the command of Datis near the town of Marathon. So there we are. So they didn't realize that they've literally boarded in the worst spot. So block exits from the plain of Marathon. Place a military unit in each of the highlighted tiles. Okay, I'm thinking, yeah, we get some hoplites as the main defense archers behind them and for now yeah we could just do cavalry there and there there we are easy okay so we have delayed them that's great it's worked but we do need assistance from sparta so we're gonna send a runner there so we need to send yes yeah, someone to go and tell sparta but yeah for now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure everyone is ready to defend this because there's a lot of them i don't know if we can do it we can actually promote some of our units because we have like yeah this training rate which yeah generated by things in the cities it's all built up for us, which is great. So yeah, we can actually promote some of these. There's a bunch of different ways we can go about it. Yeah, I'm going to go combat one plus 5% attack and defense strength. That seems like a smart way to go about it. We do need to move, yeah, more of these over here because it's looking kind of empty. Okay, we'll end that day and we can see if we can work out how to send a runner. This guy is swift. So do we send him? 
It was that guy. The fastest runner in all of Greece. Best posed to deliver the message to Sparta. So yeah, it was that guy. Then they've sent it for us. So yeah, he's quite fast apparently. Oh, is this him? Messenger. Okay. So this is basically just a scout unit. I imagine just run to Sp Sparta then. Oh yeah, there we are. Ah, he run far. He's already like quarter of the way there. Great, because we only have four days. And we need Sparta's help. Okay, so our village has finished training someone. I think... Three days or two days. I honestly think the more units we just get down, the better. And we do have the ability to rush. Which is why culture is so important, like I said, with Greece. Because once you get to developing, you get the ability to rush. So we're going to hurry them up. We're going to put a few down and see if we can hurry a few of them. Hey, I think we're hurrying too. So we get two more units down as well. They're quite terrible, just warriors. But I think we just need numbers, to be honest with you. Oh yeah, he's literally going to make it on the last day. That's as close as I can get. We'll have to see. Hopefully they come and help because... I mean, if Sparta don't help us, what are we going to do to all this? A lot of them. We should be able to get to Sparta now. So we'll have to have a look what they're going to say to us. Hopefully it's good news. Here we are. He run the distance to Sparta in less time than anyone in recorded history and delivered our plea for help. They would also like to see Persia defeated and are ready to assist us, but no sooner than in a fortnight. Sparta is currently celebrating the local festival of Carinia. So basically, yeah, they're celebrating for two weeks. We have to wait two weeks. All right, okay. What are we going to do for two weeks? There's no way we can defend these for two whole weeks. I mean, there's not a chance. We might be able to hold them off a little bit, as long as we keep upgrading our frontline troops. As the Strategoi are discussing plans for how best to defend Athens against Persia, whose forces are still camped out, an unexpected messenger arrives from the nearby polis of Plataea. They will send the most able-bodied men to fight against Persia alongside our troops. Okay, so they are going to help. We're now in a tribal alliance with them. Okay. So they've sent me... Okay, they're quite terrible troops. But, I mean, beggars can't be choosers. All we might as well do is move them out. We've got an extra bowman here. So we'll chuck the extra bowman right behind. We do have a militia, which are quite terrible. But, I mean, we're desperate. So we're going to use that as well. And this is a hoplite, which is actually quite good. So you know what? We'll take it. Uh, we have a fair few troops to fight them back. You may be good. We'll see. And hopefully Sparta hurry up and help. Now is the time to strike. The Persians have revealed their plan. Persian cavalry has boarded ships, which set sail along the coast. This is certainly an attempt to bypass our land blockade and reach Athens by water. Oh, that we got seven days to defeat their army? That's tough. Right, we got a decent amount of troops up this side. So now, yeah, we're going to start. The Battle of Marathon has started. Push them back into the sea. So that's basically our plan. Although we blocked their path to the sea, but you know what? I mean, we're fighting now. Yeah, we're just going to try and attack. We're out of orders, so that's how we have to end it. So we're going to take a lot of damage this time, I think. Let's see. Hopefully we've done enough to win this. <laughs> Uh-oh, they got spears on my cavalry. They're done, I think. Oh, God. My poor cavalry. Oh. Surely they're dead. They took hits, like, from, like, yeah, everyone. Oh, my God, they have so many moves. Do all their troops get to move? Oh, no. Okay. Oh, okay. They, they do their own thing, which is, I guess, a start. Can probably move them in that way then, to be honest. If they're going to do their own attacks, that's fine. All right. Let's think. They can kill them. Great. Get some archers down. We need to move in some troops from this side. I think if you move cavalry here, to be honest with you, that means, we, yeah, we kind of need to get rid of these spear guys. But that's going to be our focus. Try and save our cavalry a little bit. Do we have any archers? Yeah. Can they reach? Oh, they're not going to kill them, though. Nice, the, them archers can kill them. So that might save our cavalry a little bit of damage. We did a little bit of damage back that time. We did finish off, I think, a set of archers and some spearmen. We've got six days left. The problem is, it's there go now. <laughs> yeah, them spearmen are done. So we lost both our cavalry already. Which is not so great. We have six more turns, and hopefully by then, Sparta will be like, oh yeah, let's, let's go help then. Right, let's move some troops quite deep up into the corner if we can let's get them on the move or we'll shoot them down with a bow let's see if we can kill these spearmen because they do damage there we are they're dead we got some troops moving up around the side we need to start getting some more up in there to be honest problem is we have such bad orders and stuff it's quite difficult and we're out of orders again yeah <laughs> we're not having many orders which is making this quite tough their bowmen ain't too good though so a lot of them left are bowmen which we should be able to beat. Oh, there's just so many of them shooting. Okay, this turn, yeah, we're going to make sure we've got everyone moved up into good positions. And we're just going to keep attacking. Let's see, we've got to be able to finish at least one archers this turn. Or maybe... 
even these guys. Nice. And we're out of orders again. Four days. We've had three days so far. I'm going to have to do a big push on these guys. Okay, we can move these there and get an attack on them. That's going to kill them, right? No, almost. Right, we've killed a few. We, we should be good. I mean, three more days. I think we're good. This little guy here, they'll probably finish him off. We have one more guy we could do with moving up, but we're out of order. So we'll see what happens the next day. These might die, to be honest. If they get fully attacked, they're done. Yeah, fair enough. Let's see. Let's move, start moving some troops around their back. We just want to get that encirclement going. Right, we've got six orders now to try and finish off as many as possible. Nice, that's one more done. Now, can we move these there? Yes, we can. And let's keep attacking. And we might as well move these up as much as we can and end that there. Only three of them left now. Perfect. I was getting a bit worried there for a second, but we managed it. Hopefully without any more losses, because, yeah, I think they're going to go south and we might have to deal with them as well. But yeah, if you do want to see the rest of the episodes on this, let me know, because I... I actually have a lot of fun, or if you'd like to see, like, um, a normal campaign. They do have, like, a setting for a one-city challenge, which I think could be quite fun. I really want to do that, so I'll probably do it in my spare time. If you do want to see that, let me know, and I, that can definitely be done. You know what, let's move them right around their back. Full-on encirclement. Boom. Nice, we should be able to finish these this time. We move these archers behind there, and fire. Boom. Nicomen. Victory is ours. Greece will not fall to King Darius, but the conflict of the Persians is surely not over. Maridonius remains a threat for as long as he lives. Today we won, but one day we know the Persians will return. Oh, is that it? I think we've done the first scenario. I was thinking maybe doing a small campaign as whoever, but if you go down here, look, we can see like one city challenge, which yeah, will obviously only allow you to have one city, which I think will be quite fun. You can do a lot of other things. I didn't really get to show off the events aspect of things today. But there are options to, like, turn off events and stuff like that. So, yeah, you know what? I'm going to leave that there with just the first scenario. If you'd like to see the rest of them, let me know in the comments. But, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I'm going to end the video with a massive thank you to all the channel members. We have Bayek Von Quark, Arcane, Damien, Intermio1, Irrelevant, Luke Jarrett, Zigadelic, Random Icelander, Dover404, Harold Volmer, and Victor Voss Anderson. But, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.